Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to Fox Tech, and in this video, we're gonna talk about which is a frustrating issue for many Apple Watch users, and that is when your messages are not sending. So if your watch messages are just not going through, there could be some several re reasons for it. So it's prim primarily related to connectivity issues. I mean, let's dive into the details. First, it's important to understand the type of the Apple Watch you have and how it's connected. If you have a cellular Apple Watch, then it should be able to send messages on its own provided it has a cellular connection. To check your connection status, press the side button on your Apple Watch to bring up the options menu. At the top, you can see your Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone or if it has its own internet access, the Wi-Fi may be enabled. So it, it really is specific for you, right? So just figure out what's going on if you're connected to iPhone, if you're using your watches, SIM card, whatever it is to make sure that the internet connection or just a cellular connection is set up properly. If your Apple Watch is the regular model that pairs with your iPhone, then it just acts as an extension of your phone. And this means that it needs to be in a close range of your phone to send text messages. So ensure that your iPhone is nearby and connected to the watch. If the connection is lost, your iPhone and watch won't be together and the watch won't be able to send messages. Another common issue is the presence of bugs and glitches within iMessages. Sometimes you might try to send a message from your Apple Watch and it shows that the message wasn't delivered. I mean, it happened to me a couple of times. However, then I checked the conversation on another device and yeah, I just found out that the message was indeed delivered. And these glitches can be frustrating, but they do occur occasionally. So to minimize these issues, it's crucial to keep your watch updated, as I said. So running the old software can lead to compatibility problems and synchronization issues. And that's the stuff that you need to know about it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you in the future.